Christmas in 1455, and this is the trust under a papal bull upon which all their edifice rests, all of it rests. Now, prior to that was the position of Vicar of Christ, Vicarius Christi, and this is the role created in 751 by the Franks. Or if you want to get biblical, 1260 years this year. A prophecy spoken of five times in Revelation, two times in Daniel. A key date, 1260 years. So when they created in 1455 Pontifex Romanus, they effectively cursed and sealed the power of the Vicar of Christ as a guardian, as a good shepherd from doing anything. It became purely commerce. Purely commerce, it's just business. Now, that trust has fulfilled its obligations. And the prophecy of Malachi says that this is the last pope. And Edgar Casey says this is the last pope. And the third secret of Fatima says this is the last pope. And Nostradamus says this is the last pope. Well, they can't all be wrong. The problem is, how do you make that effective? How do you make that official? How do you make sure that this is all done clearly? Well, this is what I've asked a few of you to do. And before the day of Pentecost, a package is being sent to Benedict XVI, to the head of the Jesuits, head of the Franciscans. There is a group to the north. There is a, and a tribunal to the north. There is a tribunal to the south. There is a tribunal to the west and a tribunal to the east. Or if you want to say there's one to the N, one to the E, and one to the W, and one to the S being sent. One is blue, one is green, one is yellow, and one is pink. Three by three by three by three. A jury, four tribunals, a completion of an indenture. It includes the writ of mandamus. It includes the live-born record of Benedict XVI as Joseph Alloy Ratzinger, and it includes the deed of fact and interrogatories. And it will be the first perfected great writ that we've been speaking of for so long finally going through. And what does it do? Well, it ends. Pontifex Romanus. It doesn't end the Vicar of Christ. It doesn't end Holy Father. In fact, it restores to life the Vicar of Christ, the Good Shepherd. It brings to life Ratzinger. It says, the first in is the first out. And because you are out, all of us are out. If one is brought to life, all can be brought to life. It is the first shot of legally claiming at the end of the year, all the dead shall rise. But they are given six months remedy of redemption, six months to get their house in order before a final, irrevocable, divine judgment of history is rendered and that is it at the end of the year. Well, this sounds great, people say. <laughs> this sounds wonderful, and words are wonderful things. But what possible influence can words and ideas have when something is as great as the Vatican? Well, let me switch gears now to the Elenin Comet, or Brown Dwarf, and the Sun to prove to you what thought and words can do. One of the readings of Edgar Casey, one of the weirder readings of Edgar Casey that was shared with me the other day is that Edgar Casey said at the end times, men will change the sun with their thought, with their minds. Men will change the sun with their thoughts, with their minds. If I paraphrased it incorrectly, I'm sorry, but that was the general understanding of the quote. Changing the thought of the 
sun with their minds. Well, what possibly could be an example of that? Let me go to one-heaven.org. Let me scroll down to the Treaty of the Sun, Article 50, the Treaty of the Sun. The first treaty between men and women and the sun in history. In history. Yes, there have been many cultures that have worshipped the sun. There's been many philosophers, many writers speaking of the sun, but there's never been a treaty of the sun. And in this treaty we say that if Eucadia and the models that we espouse are brought to life, we pledge a sacred and irrevocable pledge that we will build a moon, an artificial moon, that over time will be completed through the dust in its orbit and attracting more material to it, such that it will compress the atmosphere of Mars so it will rain on Mars. And when it rains on Mars through a compressed atmosphere, Mars will become the second water planet within the uh, inner region of the sun. And so having two water planets, the number of comets bringing hydrogen to our sun will increase by a factor at least of eight. And by bringing life and sustenance and joy and love to our sun, our sun protects and honours and participates in the change of this time. So when you hear and people speak in terms of fear of Elenin, Elenin is coming because the sun wants it to come. But keep three things in mind. A treaty exists. The sun is a member of the society. It has its own membership number. Zero, 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 zero. Six zeros, then six zeros, then O, 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 two. It is a member of one heaven. An honorary and edified and respected member of one heaven. And it is playing a participating involvement in this success as a conscious member. The sun, as great as it is, is playing a participation, as is the earth as a member, in the success. Now, as great as the Vatican is, as great as the Khazar military, as great as these militia thug entity groups are, they are nothing to the sun. And if the sun could blast an energy ball across and hit them square between the eyes without hurting other innocent people, it may well even try that. But like a caring surgeon that doesn't wish to kill the patient in getting rid of a particular parasite, the sun is not going to destroy the world just to get rid of a few that are so mentally ill by anti-socialists. Instead, let them round themselves up, hide in a hole. If they're going to get a meteor storm and these people go and run in their bunkers, I would suggest to you that the first place that a meteor would hit would be square on top of one of their bunkers. Get rid of them all in one go. If this is a fight to the end and these people will not wake up, the sun, the earth, life, virus... Good, bad, angels, demons, everybody, everybody except them wants balance. Who is going to win? Who is going to win a battle where a handful of crazy people are holding up a detonation device and say, if you come any closer, we'll wreck everything? Well, that is not a sustainable model of control. Government is breaking down because control of the mind is coming to an end. Please do not fear. Please, 
end the fear once and for all. Know who and what you are. Awareness loves life. Life loves awareness. You're immortal. Your mind, your spirit is immortal. And it comes to this time for you to wake up and know who you are. Your thought, your commitment, your mind has the ability to change something as great as the future of this planet. And it is changing the future of this planet. Please don't fear. Well, let me talk in the final few minutes just about my situation. And I thank you all for listening tonight. My situation is this. When I read the history of the world and looked at these ideas, I did not want to be beholden to any force, any group, any organization, despite what people might think I am. I don't work for the Jesuits or anybody. I did not want to be beholden to a single force so that when Eukadia is given to you, it is given without condition. Now, that was a very difficult promise, and I can tell you many times, many times, I wish I wasn't, in that sense, as honourable in keeping it. And I'm far from an honourable person, but in this case, somehow I've managed to keep that promise. So I've worked, and as I've worked, I've earned enough money to pay for the websites, the software, the upkeep, and the living to keep building UKD without a single patronage, without a single support until recently, when a number of you have, have gratefully, not a lot, but a number have gratefully uh, provided some, some money, and I thank you for that. Well, the situation is this. The financial system is ready to be turned on, but the communities are not ready. The communities are not set up. They don't have bank accounts set up. They don't have their charters registered. And until the communities are set up, until their bank accounts are in place, I do not believe, and I'm sure all of you would agree, that there is anything beneficial in turning it on at a central level when any kind of redemption of fiat money and energy in developing currency and energy should be at the community level. It shouldn't be at Eucadia. That is not the intention. And yet I find myself in a situation where I am struggling. I am struggling to pay my bills for the first time. And the reason is I made a promise to you. Well, I, in fact, I do have patrons, and my patrons are you. You are the patrons because you cater is what I'm giving to you. That's what I'm supposed to do. But I'm struggling to fulfill that promise at the moment because... Customer, one of the customers I work for is late, substantially late on paying me money. And so I find myself in a situation that if I don't find money to come in, then the move that's planned in a few days, I don't have the money to make the move. Now, I'm not saying that I'm incompetent. I'm not saying that I've, I've left it to the last minute. But if I, I, I need help. Just as you need help, I need help. I need help to finish this so that I can give it to you, so that I don't compromise anything in the promise I've made to you. So for the first time, if you go to www.ukadia.com well, www and you go to the page About, you'll see that there's a link there now on About and it says Help Ukadia. It's the third one down. So this is www.ukadia.com. Click on About. And on the third link down, you'll see Help Eucadia. If you click on that, you'll see an explanation and you'll see four buttons that link to PayPal or bank in terms of donations. Now, all I ask... Now, I'm not giving up work. I mean, I'm still trying as hard as I can to bring money in from this client that's behind and this other client that is owes me money and I'm not giving up work but I can't keep working and struggling and still do all the work that needs to be done and meet the deadline at the end of the year now I'm not going to come to the end of the year and throw an excuse to you all and say I'm sorry I wish I could have met the promise but I couldn't because blah 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 I think 
all that listen to the call would be right 